If you could have um, a tea with uh, one of the characters mm -hmm. from your career, which one would, would be the most interesting one to have like a conversation with? Uh, maybe, well, you know, maybe, maybe Jane Eyre or one of the, oh, I, I like this character Agatha in Maps to the Stars. Maybe I'd sort of, although she's a bit scary, so I don't know, but I would, yeah, I would enjoy that. Yeah, I think in the first film she's quite uncomfortable in her skin and still kind of trying to figure out who she is. Um, and then in this film she's been travelling the world for the last two years and so she's very much, you know, has a very strong sense of who she is and, and she's been in a very empowered position. And um, and then, you know, it's surprised to see that expectations of her are so low when she returns to England. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, manages to hold on to that sense that she's worth more than that. Yeah, I mean, it was the first film that I did that was had like that kind of um, appeal or that was um, like a, an international, uh, you know, kind of big movie. Um, so, yeah, it was amazing. I mean, it's given me so many wonderful opportunities and I'm very, you know, thankful for that. Mm -hmm. I just had so many wonderful experiences and got to work with so many creative people, directors and actors and, you know, everybody, you know, has been wonderful. Um, yeah, and, and then returning to this, I just feel like I knew that world a little bit better and knew how to kind of navigate it and understood what it was like to shoot a, a green screen movie. Um, so just having that, that sense was really great. But this time it was a blue screen, the director told me. Yeah, that's right. Was it easier? It was actually, yeah. But why? I feel like the green screen is a bit brighter, so it kind of gets, burns your retinas a little bit more, but this was a bit more subdued.